This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can recreate the Xbox logo using Inkscape. And with that being said, I'll close out of this and get started. The first thing we'll do in Inkscape is set our view to custom and then we'll zoom in at 100%. We'll open up our Align and Distribute menu with this button right here. And from this drop down, we're going to want to have Last Selected chosen. And then we'll open up our Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Stroke menu. So the first thing we're going to do is create a circle. So let's come over to the Circles and Ellipses tool and click on that. Just hold Control and Shift in the keyboard and click and drag on the canvas to create a perfectly round circle, maybe about that big. And I'm going to go back to the I'm going to go over to the Select tool and I'm going to turn this red and drop the opacity down about in half. And then I'll right click this and go to Duplicate. And I'll just move this duplicated copy off to the side, over to the left. And then I'm going to I'm going to click off of the graphic to deselect everything. And I'm going to go back to the circles and ellipses tool, and I'm going to create an oval. I'm going to do this over here off to the right. I'm just going to press down on the mouse wheel and move the mouse in order to pan the page over. And I'm going to hold Control and I'm going to click and drag on the canvas to create a circle. But if you move the the cursor up a little bit, it's going to create an oval. So make sure we're creating it at this at this uh, proportion right here. Let's go ahead and create that oval and let go of control. Uh, I'm going to go to the select tool and turn that blue. And then I'll right click that and go to duplicate and turn that red. And I'm going to hold control and click and drag this copy down to about here. Maybe about that much. And then I'll hold control and I'm going to grab this bottom arrow and scale that out. Maybe about that far. Uh, maybe about that much. I'm going to move this up a little bit. You want to have it looking sort of like that. And once you get there, you know what? I'm just going to bring this down just a little bit more. This is a little tricky, but um, it's about as close as I can get this logo looking with Inkscape. So we're going to go ahead and leave this about here like that and hold shift and click on the uh, blue oval. I'm going to path difference. And then I'm going to click this a second time to get our rotation handles. And then I'm going to hold control and grab one of these arrows and just rotate this around until it's upright about maybe about that much. And then I'll right click this, go to duplicate, and I'm going to flip it horizontally with this button right here, flip selected objects horizontally. And I'm just going to click and drag this over to the right a little bit. Maybe about that much. That's pretty good. And once you have it positioned like that, we go ahead and click and drag over both of those and unify them together by going to path union. And then I'm going to hold shift and click on this red circle here to the right. And I'm going to center that on the vertical axis and the horizontal axis. And then click off of the graphic to deselect everything. What we want to do now is click on just this blue shape and hold control and shift and scale this down until the corners of those edges are just sticking out of the, uh, the circle a little bit. I'm going to hold control on the keyboard and roll upwards on the mouse wheel to zoom in. And you'll see we have these bottom corners sticking out. They're sticking out a little too much. We only want them sticking out a little bit, maybe about that much. And I'm going to do the same thing up here. I'll hold control and grab this top arrow and scale that out a little bit so those corners are sticking out. And then I'll have to come back down here and adjust that accordingly. And I'd say that's pretty good. You want it looking somewhat like that. And once you get there, we could hold shift and click on the red circle and go to path, difference. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring the opacity of this all the way up and we're going to make this gray. I'm going to start with maybe 40% uh, gray. And then we're going to give this a radial gradient with this button right here. Radial gradient, go ahead and click on that. And now we're going to edit this gradient. You can click on the gradient tool right here. If you don't have this tool, if you don't have this icon on your screen, usually if you're using a laptop, you won't have this icon here. You can just press G on the keyboard to get that tool. And there we have that. So. I'm going to come over here to this part of the line and I'm just going to double click that to put a stop right there. And then I'll come over here and I'm going to double click that to put a stop right there. And then I'm going to click on this stop here to the right. And under the HSL tab, I'm going to bring the opacity all the way up. And I'll make this a little lighter, maybe about bring that over to uh, 206 on the L column. And then I'll click on this stop right here. I'll bring the opacity of that all the way up. And uh, I'm going to go back to this stop, actually. I'm just going to make that a little lighter, maybe 215. 
And then I'll go to this stop right here. I'm going to bring that out a little bit. Bring the opacity of that all the way up. And we're just going to make that slightly lighter. Or actually, not slightly. Pretty much lighter than this stop right here. So I'm going to come over to this L column. I'm going to bring that down about 227. And then we can click on this, this stop here in the middle. And I'm going to take the L column and bring that all the way to the left to make that white. And what I'll do now is I'm going to grab this gradient right here, this box, this uh, box uh, handle. I'm going to put this up towards the left, to the top left. And I'm going to hold Control and Shift and grab this, this circle and scale this out so it's about that, say about that big. And I'm going to scale that in a little bit. Maybe not quite that big. I'll bring this back in about over here. We want this looking sort of like that. I'd say that's pretty good. And once we get there, what we could do is right click this and go to duplicate. And we're gonna turn that duplicated copy blue. And I'm going to lower it beneath the original. So come up here to where it says lower selection one step. And we're gonna give this a blue outline. So we're gonna hold shift and click on the color blue and that's gonna give it an outline. Now, as far as thickness goes, let me, let's go over to the Stroke Style tab. I don't think uh, 8, maybe let's try 6. Uh, maybe 7. Alright, so 7 should be good, a 7 point stroke. And once we have that set, we'll go to Path, Stroke to Path to finalize that. And then let's raise that to the top with this button right here. Raise Selection to the top. And then we're going to take this red circle, we'll right click that, go to Duplicate, Hold shift, click on the gray circle in the middle, and let's just center that on the vertical and horizontal axis, and then click off of the graphic to deselect everything. And we're gonna select just the blue circle. You're gonna have to click out here to the edge. You'll know you have it selected when you see this blue stripe in the bottom left hand. And then hold shift and click on that red circle and go to path, intersection. And then we could lower that one step so it goes beneath there. And we're going to come to the Fill tab over here and give that a linear gradient. And we're going to go to our drop down and choose that gradient we just created. And press G on the keyboard to get the gradient tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the lighter end down here where the darker end is. And I'm going to take this top one and put this up here. I'm just going to hold Control so this goes straight up and down. Bring this down a little bit. Sort of like that. I'd say that's pretty good. And we'll go back to our select tool. And what we have to do now is we're gonna, let's click off of it to deselect everything. We're gonna have to draw the green area inside of here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold control and roll upwards in the mouse wheel to zoom in. And I'm gonna turn on the snap to cusp nodes tool. And then we'll go to the Bezier pen over here, draw Bezier curves. And I'm gonna snap the cursor onto this point right here and then click and then hold control and bring the line straight down all the way down. I actually have to zoom out a little bit. Hold control. I'm just going to hold control. Still holding control the whole time. Roll down on the mouse wheel. Pan down a little bit. Bring this line all the way through the bottom and then click. And then we can let go of control and just continue finishing up this line around the outside of the graphic until we come up into the center here and connect it back to the starting point. What we're going to do now is let's go back to our select tool. I'm going to press 1 on the keyboard to zoom back out. And I'm going to take this here uh, circle and I'll right click that and go to duplicate. Hold shift, click on this uh, gray circle and center that up, vertical and horizontal. Click off of it to deselect, click on just the red circle, hold shift, click on our shape that we just drew and go to path, intersection. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower that. Actually, no, I'm not going to lower that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this circle. We have to set up our color palette now. We're going to create a green to yellow gradient that we're going to use for the inside of this logo. So I'm going to take this circle and right click it and go to duplicate. I'll bring the opacity all the way up. I'm going to put this right here. I'll hold control, scale that down. And I'm just going to create two more copies of this by right clicking and going to duplicate. So we have three copies. And the gradient that I used for the thumbnail that you saw uh, it took me a while to figure that out, and I don't want to go through recreating that again. So I just copied down the color codes, and I'm just going to use them uh, verbatim. So uh, I'll, I'll have that in the description as well, the three color codes I used. So I'm going to click on this first circle. Let me go to my color codes that I created. The dark green, I'm just going to copy that. Right-click, copy. 
click on that and we'll come down to the RGBA value and we'll just replace that control V and it's gonna make it that dark shade of green we'll do the same thing to this this middle one let's go to the mid green as I said these color codes will all be included in the description of the video or you're as always you're more than welcome to try to improve the grading if you think you could do better um, knock yourself out and I'm just going to control C that click on this and finally we we'll click on that so these are the three colors we're going to use in our gradient for this shape right here so let's click on this shape and let's make this um, let's press F7 to get the dropper and let's make that dark green and I'll go back to our select tool and let's turn off that black outline by holding shift and clicking on the X and then we could lower that beneath the gray circle and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click on the uh, the uh, radial gradient tool and I'm gonna press G on the keyboard to get the gradient handles and I'm gonna come up here you know what let's turn off the snap to custom nodes for now that's gonna be annoying I'm just gonna double click right there to put a new stop right in there I'll click on that bring the opacity all the way up click on that bring the opacity all the way up and this top node up here we're gonna leave that the dark the dark shade and then we're gonna click on this middle one right here press F7 and get the dropper and just make that the same color that the middle one is go back to our select tool and actually no let's go back to our gradient tool press G on the keyboard and let's click on this center stop and press F7 to get our dropper and click on the light the almost yellowish shade like that and what we're gonna do now is let's go back to the gradient tool press G on the keyboard and we're gonna take this and put this right about here we're gonna put this right about here and we're gonna take this handle and put this up here and then take this handle and put this over here and I'm gonna move that in a little bit that should be pretty good just like that I'm actually gonna bring this up a little bit bring this down bring this down we want to position this sort of like this right here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the select tool I'm gonna to press 1 to zoom out and I'm actually gonna lower that one more step so it goes beneath our little bevel there and what we're gonna do now is uh, click off of it to deselect I'm gonna hold control and roll up on the mouse wheel to zoom in uh, I'm gonna to go to the bezier pen click on the uh, snap to custom nodes and we're gonna snap the cursor onto this corner right here and click and then we're going to hold control and bring this line diagonally down maybe about at that angle uh, if you look down here if you look at the very bottom of my screen it says it's a negative 75 degree angle if you look down here it'll tell you it says um negative 75 degrees that's pretty good click and we can let go of control press one to zoom back out and i'm just going to finish this line up going around the graphic and through here and then connect it back to the starting point and then we'll go to our um, select tool we turn off the snap to custom nodes again and let's click on our red circle right click duplicate hold shift click on the gray circle center that on the vertical and horizontal axis and then click on the red circle hold shift click on the shape that we just drew and we'll go to path intersection and then we're going to lower that two steps as well so lower that once and then a second time and then we're going to give that the same radial gradient that we just gave the previous shape. Let's go to our drop down and choose our green gradient. Let's turn the stroke off by holding shift and clicking on the X. And then we will go to our gradient tool, press G on the keyboard. And I'm going to put this down here. And I'm going to take this, I'm going to put this over here, up there. And I'll take this and put that over there. We're going to position this sort of like that. We'll go back to our select tool, click off of it and deselect just so I could see. Yeah, that's a pretty good um, position for that gradient. I'll go back to that and show you. You want to have it positioned like this, almost like a, a right angle. I'm just going to go back to the select tool. What I'm going to do now is, um, well, let's zoom in on this. I'm going to hold control, roll up on the mouse wheel. And let's click on this original green shape that we created. And let's right click that and go to duplicate. And then we're going to flip that horizontally like that and we'll turn on the snap to custom nodes and we're gonna take this corner right here and snap it onto this corner so let's take this corner and snap it onto that corner and then let's lower that one two two steps 
I'm going to do the same thing to this piece right here. Click on that, right click, duplicate, flip that uh, horizontally, and then we'll take this corner and snap it onto this corner right here. So let's grab that corner and snap it onto there and lower that two steps as well. And let's press one to zoom out and see how it looks. All right, so we have one last step to complete this thing. So I'm going to click off of it to deselect everything. I'm going to turn off the uh, snap to custom nodes once and for all. We're done with that. Uh, I'm going to get rid of these as well. Just press delete on the keyboard. And I'm going to take this red circle, raise that to the top, hold shift, click on the gray circle, and center that on the horizontal and vertical axis. And then click off of it to deselect. And I'm going to click on just the red circle. And I'm going to hold control and shift and scale it in about that much. And then I'm going to hold just control and grab this bottom right arrow and bring this up to about here. Maybe, uh, and then I'll position this right about here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on our, our gray circle. I'm going to right click that and go to duplicate. Oops, wrong one. Right click that, go to duplicate. And then hold shift and click on the red circle and go to path intersection. And then we'll turn that white uh, actually, we'll bring the opacity all the way up, and then we'll turn that white. And we'll give this a linear gradient. And we can press G on the keyboard to get back to our gradient tool. And we can put this, the, the, um, the fill side up here, and the transparent side about down here. Maybe like that. And we go back to our select tool, and then we can just click and drag over all of this and group it together. You could resize it however you'd like, and uh, that's pretty much it. That's how you can recreate... Um, a relatively close replica of the Xbox logo using Inkscape. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.